it. I just got back. And since I did for my 5.83 mile road or walk run set, performed today, Friday, 26 January, 2024. So I'm going to recap it. It was Jacob Ingebrigtsen inspired, so Ingebrigtsen inspired walk run. And I'm doing this right after in the spirit of, um, well, not right after. I got back, put my gloves down, my armband down, took my headphones, oh, that kind of stuff, and calculated my averages. Um... So I can film this video, and I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi, and this is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi, but in the spirit of a truly, he was like, you know, okay, he got, he, what, he, he raced, this is inspired by the one mile run he did on 16 September 2023, a Saturday of three minutes, 43.73 sentence, sentences, seconds, um, and the one mile run at the Bowerman Mile in Eugene, Oregon, United States of America. I'm in the city of Shoreline, northern suburbs of Seattle, Washington State, United States of America. It's my Earth original. And so my goal with this inspired set was to adapt what he did in his one mile run. I do it on my 5.80 mile walk run set, which has 3.64 miles of running and 2.16 miles of walking. So I'm going to talk through this. I performed it today, Friday, 26 January 2024. And I'm doing it, filming this approximately right after in the spirit of since he has to do pictures and interviews after his race i'll do a video after my set so the time was 61.80 minutes average mile time running was six minutes and 49.85 seconds average mile time walking was 17 minutes and six seconds it marked my first embedded one mile run tactical jacob ingebrigtsen male norwegian runner inspired walk run Embedded, yeah, okay. It also marked my second run or walk run in the 2024 year, with my most recent before this being the same set on Tuesday, 23 January 2024, which was a John Landy, male Australian runner inspired walk run. So, the introduction. Why I chose today? I could come up with no better idea. So, I just went for it. Okay, recap. Uh, yeah, um, so I'll break it down. Up first, road conditions. This is mostly dry. Um, not too much traffic. And not too much debris on the ground. Just nice. Weather conditions. Start temperature at 55 degrees Fahrenheit. No wind. And it looked like this. Cloudy, gray day. The sun did not come out, and it also did not rain. Audio, no music after the per first 0.95 miles. Times, so the total time, I am moving through this today. I'm, I, I, need, I, I need water and to take a shower and a snack. Um, the time, so the total time was 61.80 minutes. Um, average mile running time was 6 minutes and 49.85 seconds. Average mile time walking was 17 minutes and 6 seconds. My walking is, so the assessment of that, uh, my walking is really not great right now. Uh, my running is really spectacular for <laughs> only my second uh, this time running in the past, like, four weeks. So, um, it, uh... Yeah, so <laughs> not that I, my walking surprises me bad, but not, like I can, I can, my body's not quite there yet for the running. So the there's a way of saying, uh, yeah, and it was an inspired tactical and embedded approach. So I was like, since I have not done one of these before, uh, the cognitive amount of effort that goes into trying to execute something while I'm doing it, I can slow me down. It's not the uh, finessed try and feel fast by running fast. It was a lot more mental effort. So uh, in cognitive projects about the run itself and especially invoking other runners can be can affect my times and it did. Uh, but I, I wouldn't say it was a bad time any of those at least the running and the total time okay mental so invoking Jacob Ingebrigtsen 
yeah so that was <laughs> it's thoroughly draining through the entire i think it's the first thing that i've done um while well, on these that's like been a full set project and it required like <laughs> full set with john landy i've done the run fast thing before so it was kind of like tuning that to be john landy inspired versus this was like not it was adapting a one mile run to a 5.8 mile thing and so it was like it was like the whole thing and that was like the only thing i thought about that and like the animals right and the other people and stuff like addressing like being like hey so it was surprisingly mentally taxing and like so i was thinking of him and the race and like there were parts of it like i was he did a it might have been Jacob Ingebrigtsen if you knew I was doing this to help me cognitively figure out what he did. It was on the first running segment as I passed the first speedometer he introduced a double handicap as a form of communication of if I can figure out um what he's thinking on the next one because he understands I, I understand like there's a concept of like double or nothing uh if I can figure out what he's doing but it's like both so it, instead of the double or nothing thing as, so he introduced a double handicap on the first speedometer of if you can figure out by on the return, so exiting where I get to see the second speedometer after doing the full set kind of thing, uh, he'll blank the second speedometer. So on the return, it, well, I was thinking, and so on the return, on the, when I see the second the speedometer on the way out, this is that like kind of shoreline, woodway, borderlands um, boundary. It was so it was the second running segment, which is my embedded mile, one mile race. I was like trying to execute, you know, two races at once. Oh, maybe okay. Anyway, um, but really thinking about putting press pr back burner for the one mile one and kind of front burner of the adapting the one mile to the 5.8 but it, I did think about both and thinking I was like struggling with it and uh was like thinking I was like better to lose a little bit of time and a little bit of lead than to lose the race and there was a point in the race which was roughly approximate to where the spin was meter was for the return like on the way out uh, where he kind of lost a little bit of the lost a little bit of the lead and then kind of re rebounded a bit, and I was and I like th the speedometer was blank. I was like, see, if it's, it's he's hits. If it was him, it was him communicating speechless. You got it right. So I was like, well, if that's true, then sometimes it's actually invoking the thing at the time of racing. Somebody can start to understand what the runner was doing. Um, so yeah. That came into play it was it was a uh, it was a very frustrating day in terms of my body and so i'd say um it was actually a good project for when i was out there okay social there was a, f a fair amount of people not too many though and there were a lot of animals they were all like we love yaki bingy britson so we're gonna tell you that so there were st multiple stellars jays a chicory and a north american red squirrel ran across the road in front of me in woodway there was a Bewix wren, American crows, a gray squirrel, and I swear, Grandma Rosemary herself came to be like, I love Yeke being a Britson. There was a hummingbird that came like flew and, and then flew away. I was like, oh, they love the Norwegian man. So Yeke being a Britson, if you're watching this, the animals love you. Um, yeah, and I did the smile and wave or um and say hi but i also do instead of smile and wave sometimes i do smile and nod i do sometimes just do smile but like if i'm doubting on whether like the person needs a double confirmation i do smile and nod or smile and wave and sometimes i say hi on that kind of thing oh and to the chicory that ran across the street the north american red squirrel i said hi chicky out loud okay and i actually looked at it as i passed it okay oh and that was uh, no, okay, there was a physical component inv invoking Yankee being a person. Physical, my upper legs, knees to hips were sore all the way around the leg, both legs. Um, I did a physical invoking of Yankee being a person, so he did look behind him on the road. He, he's born to be a road runner. Um, 
on the road. So when I cross roads, like actually run like across the street, <laughs> um, I do look over my shoulder to make sure there's no cars. So while something like that might be interpreted as weakness on a track and a different setting, such as the road in my sport, road running, um, if you can't do that, you could die. So it would appear Yake Bingberton has some good survival instincts from my perspective in my sport. Um, yes. As, was there anything else? I didn't cramp up. I didn't have lady cramps. I didn't have any asthma problems. Which also, I think, is partially the cognitive load of invoking Yake Bingberton. Uh, it's there, my time might be slower, but I also, it get, I don't freak myself out and have an asthma attack. Kind of thing. Or, or uh, that might not be the way, right? That's um, how to phrase it. I don't overly fixate on going fast and then it, it re is reflected on my lungs. So like if, if I'm freaking myself out, like I need to go faster, then I start to not pay attention to my breathing and my asthma gets bad kind of thing. The physical correlation. Okay. Post set celebration, I'm gonna take a shower and have a snack and drink some water. Um, and maybe not today, but in the next week or so, maybe, maybe I'll do a athletic performance contextualization of my one mile road run, four minutes thirty five point nine nine seconds, personal best time from. Sunday, 16 July, 2023, if I'm recalling correctly. Jacob Ingebrigtsen cheering along the sidelines, is it? <laughs> and to be my chicory. Okay, takeaways. It worked. Uh, it would be very cool if I actually figured out some of like what he was going through by doing it and invoking him while I was doing it. Um, it, it, it does not... But it does not throw the sport of running into despair. It's like, no. Start to figure, understand the athlete a little better by doing it yourself. But not doing it yourself, but invoking them and, and trying. Not necessarily a person will, or, or, or necessarily that I got it right, but that at least there's additional insights. Can, how to phrase it? Additional insights can be gleaned about something by... Taking part in the sport oneself, or, or the activity of running oneself. Conclusion, there's my recap. I'm going to go get some water, take a shower, and have a snack. And I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi. This is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. Happy day and time of viewing to you whenever you're viewing this. Happy place of viewing this wherever you're viewing this run from. Yeki Binger Britson, if you're watching this, thank you for running. And thank you for being one of my inspirations in running and in life. You Norwegian hottie.